Hey everybody, um, in the previous video I showed you how to explore the width tool and create some really cool flowers and petals um, before. So this is what we created earlier and what I'm going to do is show you how to colorize it in Photoshop. And this is personally my preferred method um, and it's also I think a good method if um, sometimes if you're working with the variable width tools but it's also can be done quite easily in Illustrator. So I'm going to just select the back four leaves. I'm going to copy and then I'm going to go into Photoshop and I'm going to paste this as a smart object. So that's that. And I'm pasting them separately because I want to um, paint these two, I want to colorize these two layers of leaves separately. So I'm going to copy that, go over into Photoshop, Paste this as a smart object. Okay, so we're well on our way. And in Photoshop, I give you those bonus add-on styles. So um, over here, I'm going to start with the back leaves. I'm going to click the darken in color. And by default, it gives me like a pinky purple. So I'm going to go into my layer styles here. Just double click in there. And let's pick some colors that we like. So. I'm first of all going to pick the color and I'm going to pick something I'm going to use my pointer tool to get a really pretty red like from the background and I'll click OK. And now the bottom layer here um, on this little shortcut layer style is basically the intensity and um, it's kind of darkness and intensity but it's controlled by a color overlay. So this makes it darker but it also makes it very contrasty so I set it at a default of 50. But you can, you see if you take it all the way up to 100, it's quite too much. So I kind of like to use this. Um, I start off with the default of 50 and it's good. And then if you need the leaf, the item to be darker, then the middle one is, um, it darkens it, but with a blend mode of soft light. So that's much better to kind of get the re rich kind of tones you would want, like darker, without getting too much contrast that it looks like not, not good. So I'm going to do this. Um, and click OK and so now I have a really pretty kind of a red rich red leaf here turn off the background if you want but I think it looks really pretty now this one I think that I'll leave it um, like as a gold I think that's kind of pretty but I also have on my color add-on styles one to like desaturate the gold so I'll just kind of click on that and that desaturated it a little bit or I could make it warm silver cool silver rose gold but actually, now that I'm looking at it, I kind of like the warm gold. So I'm just going to clear this layer style and leave it in the really pretty gold. And one thing that I might do is like I could add a drop shadow um, a little bit and make it like, let's see, let's move it over here, take down that thing. Just a little bit of separation. You can do that if you like. This is um, just all about kind of having fun now. And one thing that I might do, I'm going to create a new layer and I think I might just take one of my brushes, if I can find it here, get my brush tool, let's find just a little brush and I think I'm going to use like a red and I'm going to use like one of my styles from my creative couture collection apply that already to the layer and I'm gonna just kind of draw some little maybe some little um, like a little bit of a center to my flower and it's cool because it's got like that style already applied so I'm gonna have a little fun here and make a little bit of a center but that's kind of like the gist of it colorizing and um, as you can see, like on my other display here, I've got some different flowers that I've made and I've made some just different um, little things on top of them. But that the good thing about the strokes is that they can create a great base for your, um, for your little flowers and they look really eye popping, really bright, um, just, just gorgeous strokes that would be really hard to get otherwise and as you can see this was basically four lines in Illustrator and it created all of that so that's the gist of colorizing in Photoshop. 